Um, can you tell us a little bit about how happy you are with your new signing, Patrick Bamford? <coughs> um, really pleased because uh, he's a player who I I like a lot. Uh, I think I think no. It's, uh, he played uh, his best with uh, with us here, so I'm really pleased with with him. But uh, we have to to be careful because uh, he's been without playing for uh, 18 months. So the first thing that uh, I transmitted him is uh, confidence because uh, again everybody is going to expect that he scores uh, every single game one goal, and the first thing that he needs to to recover his uh, his confidence and for sure he will be important in the way that he was he was. Uh, two years ago, but uh, again, he, he's uh, going to be difficult for him, so he knows the most important thing that I trust him. Do you think because he hasn't played in these last couple of years that, that he will be low in confidence? Yeah, mo no. It's uh, sometimes, you know, you want to to show how you are, how <coughs> good you were, uh, and uh, you try you try to do things that now at this moment you can't do because at that time he was confident and now again after 18 months without the playing he's not uh, ready to do and uh, this uh, kind of things he will do uh, starting with his uh, with his confidence you obviously have uh, Miguel on and just said already how do you see him fitting in, into your into your team in um, any position up front uh, in the wing left right uh, in the middle playing alone playing with another one so the main thing and the one of his uh, best uh, characteristics are that he always uh, thinks forward, and uh, it's a, a thing that we need now because uh, sometimes we we don't have that uh, that mentality, and he has uh, two score goals in, in his head. Always his movements, he's uh, trying to go forward, and he's one thing that is uh, really good for us now. He obviously did a terrific job for for yourself. Championship, then struggle to obviously get a game in the Premier League. You obviously think he's, he's good enough at this level. Can you improve him enough to, to make him a star at this level? I hope, in the same way that I did with uh, the players who were here in Championship last season and this season they are competing. The players who arrived uh, this season, like uh, Victor Valdez, who wasn't without playing uh, with uh, Negredo, uh, was uh, you know in his uh, best in, in Valencia with Gaston Ramirez last season, with Brad Guzan last season. So. It's my job. I, the first thing in my job is to try to to improve the plane and the players, and uh, till, till this moment I am doing. And I hope knowing uh, Patrick like I know and uh, knowing him like uh, and knowing me uh, like he knows me, I think is important. So you've got your stead and, and Bamford in now. What? How much more do you think you need to add before this? You can say this window has been a successful one. He said uh, always that the the main thing, the main portion that we I want to strengthen is the the wings because uh, again we has uh, the only quick quick player or the player who give us uh, that pace is Adamais and uh, I would like to to bring but uh, again we have another two weeks to to try to to find the best. Are, are you any closer to the last time we spoke to you this time last week in, in terms of bringing in a, a new man out wide? No, the club knows uh, the player who, who I want, and the club are, is uh, is working, and uh, they are not boring me every day. This happening or this not happening. So they know the players who who I like, the players who I want to to bring, and uh, when they are here, will be perfect for everybody. We spoke to you about uh, Stuart Downing last week. Has there, has there been any change in, in that situation at all? Or have you spoken to him? Has, has he decided he wants to stay? No, no, no. I don't uh, speak with him. Uh, the club uh, hasn't received one offer for him, so again, the, the Stuart is a, a player in the squad. He was uh, on the bench. Uh, he will be on the on the squad tomorrow, so nothing new. And obviously, a lot of interest in, in Jordan Rose. Now, you've, now that you've got Patrick in, would that allow him to leave now if if the right offer comes in for Jordan? Yeah, the right offer. Arbaez, uh, and if he wants to to leave, for sure. But uh, I think now the the club has received uh, two offers, but uh, they weren't uh, enough. So he's uh, here. He's training really well, as he did uh, always. So he's just to uh, keep going. And you've allowed uh, Emilio to, to leave this week as well. Just really struggled struggled to get into your team in the, in the Premier League. Yeah, it was a, a shame, you know, because uh, Emilio did a. 
an amazing season last uh, last season. He was uh, really important for the team and not just uh, on the pitch. Uh, this season uh, he couldn't play a lot, but uh, his attitude always has been uh, really good in the changing room. He's always uh, happy, he always transmitting his his character, and I wish him all the all the best because uh, again he was big part last season to to get promotion. West Ham this weekend, uh, three clean sheets in a row. You must be really pleased. Defensively, the, the way you go into this game against a side who obviously, you know, did terrifically well last week after a difficult run. Sorry? I'm saying you've obviously three clean sheets in a row, you play West Ham this weekend. They obviously they won last week, probably the, at the wrong time for you guys. So, how much do you feel you're, you're ready for this? No, we are ready because uh, the first thing that we are uh, playing at home. and. Uh, I can't consider now a direct opponent because uh, they were played last this season in Europa League and uh, they are now five points above us. But uh, it's a really important game for us because uh, the first thing again we are playing at home and uh, I think the the game that we played against them uh, in London was uh, the game who which uh, changed everything because uh, that game we arrived uh, after losing against. Um, Against Watford, and uh, after the, that game, we had a, a difficult games to to play, and the reaction of those uh, of the of the players to to that game was uh, really good. And I hope from that day we are improving, and I hope we ke we can keep uh, improve. Can I ask you one, one last one about the formation? You, you changed it to a three-five-two last week. I think eight of the, the teams in the Premier League played that that formation uh, in the matches last weekend. Is it maybe like a little bit of a Change in the culture? Is there maybe a, a pressure to try and change the match up with, with the other teams? To play three at the back? Yeah, yeah. No, I changed it because uh, Watford played the uh, three at the back, and uh, I know it's a difficult system to to play against. And uh, I played that system because uh, at that time I didn't think that I had the right wingers to play that game. So as a coach, I have to. I should have a lot of uh, different uh, shapes in my in my head, but uh, for example, against Chelsea, we play we finish the the game playing that way. I don't remember now, but for sure we've uh, finished this season more than one game uh, playing in that uh, in that shape. But again, we've played three at the back. We played four two three one, four uh, three three. So as a coach, I have to I should have a lot of alternatives in my head. I saw one of those centre backs, Callum Chambers, we spoke to yesterday. He seems to be enjoying his time at Middlesbrough. He's playing games, which is what he came here for. Can you see him really improving week on week? And what are you doing to try and sort of send him back to Arsenal a better player? Yes, and uh, again, when uh, you're a good player like uh, Callum is, and you are quality, and uh, the only thing that you need is to to play to play games. And uh, he's playing really well. He's adding that. Uh, Experience. He's uh, playing in a team which is uh, really good uh, build uh, the last uh, three years, so it's uh, it's more comfortable for for him. But uh, again, I think uh, he he can be a uh, he's, uh, he can have a really good future because uh, again he's uh, he's quality player and uh, adding games that uh, adding the games that he's had in this season is really important for them and I think it was the day of uh, Arsenal when, when they sent him here. One of his jobs this weekend will be to stop Andy Carroll. What did you make of his goal from last weekend? Uh, it's, <laughs> I'm not going to discover now Carroll. No? He's uh, a really good uh, good player but uh, again uh, behind Carroll they have a, a lot of good players and once again they qualified last season for the Europa League. Uh, because they are a, a good team, they, are, they have a, a good manager and we have to, to look after every single ball because uh, they are really, really dangerous and we we could feel when we played against them in London. Are they quite an unpredictable team? Their results have gone from one extreme to another at times this season. Yes, but uh, predictable or unpredictable, they have uh, 25 points. On, we are predictable and we have uh, 20. So the, the main thing is to, to add points and the... And to play our our trying to play our our best, and uh, we will do. Yeah, just finally for me, the, the gap at the bottom at the moment is four points uh, in terms of yourself above the relegation zone. If you can win, obviously it would do a lot for confidence, but also it might just open up a little mini league, I guess, at the bottom of those bottom four at the moment. Yes, it's a a really important game because uh, if we win, uh, we can. Uh, Open a big gap, a big gap, but again, it's a tough league. I'm sure that we are going to be suffering till till the end because uh, again, we 
we were in championship last season and uh, we are competing against the the best teams in the in the world. Thank you. Hi, Tori. You scored 19 goals for you two seasons ago. Um, how confident are you that Patrick can, in time, become a 19 or 20 goal a season Premier League striker? If he scored, uh, if he will score, if he would score 19 goals, for sure he wouldn't be here. He would be in Manchester or Chelsea, or so I don't think he's going to score uh, 19, 19 goals because uh, the first thing he's coming after 18 months without playing. So that season when he came here. He had uh, f four, five teams, uh, championship teams, interested on, on him. So his mood was completely different. And now it's uh, another uh, different league, different uh, teammates, different competition. So again, the main thing for him is to keep him calm because playing his uh, his best is going to help us and is the, the best thing. And to become a sort of 20 goal a season striker in the Premier League eventually, what qualities do you think he needs to add to his game? Patrick. What, uh, what, um, how much, what sort of improvements does Patrick need to add to his game to perhaps become a 20 goal a season striker in the Premier League? I think uh, he has to improve because he's a young player and uh, again, playing his, uh, his best, he can be a, a good player in, in Premier League for the reason he's, he's here. But uh, again, he has uh, goals in his, uh, in his head, he's always trying to, to score and it's a, that mentality is the mentality that we, we need at the moment. And a different type of striker to the ones you've already got, so he adds you a di gives you a different option, perhaps coming from off the bench. Yes, but I don't think I said always that the, I don't feel Patrick is a striker to to play along because uh, for me it's not a again it's a striker who who can play along, so he will play with another striker or uh, in the in the wing because uh, I don't feel that he's a, he can play along. He he didn't uh, two years ago, so for sure in the future he will, he won't play along. And you talked about trust. Um, important, I suppose, that word in, in football to be able to trust players to actually do what you want them to do and to to, to, to exercise the uh, the game plan. Yes, and it's the the first and the main thing that they try to transmit to the players who are uh, coming. Because again, uh, Gaston Ramirez uh, didn't play, and now he's uh, doing an amazing season. Uh, Victor Valdez uh, was injured or uh, without confidence, and now he's one of the best keepers in the. In the, the the keeper with the best numbers in the in the league, uh, and I can say a lot of uh, names. That the the main thing for a for a coach is to transmit them your your confidence to uh, to let them confident on the on the pitch. Has it surprised you that West Ham don't seem to have been affected by the whole row over Dimitri Payet? Has it surprised you that West Ham don't seem to have been um, deflected or put off by the Dimitri Payet uh, controversy? I don't know what is happening there, so I can't say anything because I don't, I'm not in, in the club, I'm not in the staff uh, changing room, so I can't say anything. Yes, it's uh, Gaston and Barragan, Antonio Barragan and Gaston Ramirez. Um, just going back to, to Patrick, um, he hasn't played. Premier League football in the last 18 months, as you say, for obvious reasons to Chelsea. But what do you see in him that perhaps other coaches haven't, that he, you think he can play in the Premier League? I don't know. I, uh, I told you I wanted, to, I wanted him at that time, and I wanted him this time. And I said always, uh, since the day that he left this club, that the, he uh, would have uh, our door open. Uh, always, because he's a player who I like a lot. Because again, he's a uh, that the mentality that uh, a player who play up front uh, needs to to have. Uh, a player who plays at home, at home, uh, up front, needs to to try to score goals, and he's always trying to score goals in the training ground, in the in the games. Uh, his first. Uh, Thought always is to play forward, and uh, we need this kind of uh, players. And it was a, a surprise why he didn't play, because I think he's played uh, two starts in 18 months. And uh, again, I, I hope that we can finish the, the season with a much, much better figure for him. He's, he's clearly a very intelligent young man. Is he different to manage than other players? Is he a different to coach than some of the players he works with? Every single player is different. and. Uh, but uh, again, uh, for the most intelligent to the 
less intelligent, you need to be intelligent and you need to be honest and mm -hmm. is the the only way to to bring the best of the of the players, being honest with them and uh, telling them sometimes the things that they, they don't want to hear. Um, Jock Love could be brought in. There's been a lot of speculation about Gaston and, and Adama Traore. Is there anything you can tell us about the interest in those players from elsewhere? Adama can't uh, go anywhere because uh, he's played with Villa and with us, so he can't play in in another in another club and uh, with Gaston I don't know anything because the club hasn't received anything official from any club. I think the suggestion the speculation is that Adama might be loaned back here if any, any deal is done. But the suggestion is that you know if somebody it's Chelsea the speculation about if they bought him, they would loan him back here, but you're not aware of anything else. No, I don't know anything. No no no. No no and it's good if uh, a team like uh, Chelsea are um, following Adama is because uh, his uh, progression has been brilliant in six months and uh, he's doing he's doing well. But he's uh, young and the main thing that he has to do is to keep going in the in the same way because uh, you know football changes a lot and maybe he's in a big moment. But uh, with Patrick here now, with uh, other players arriving, maybe in two or three months he's not playing and uh, Chelsea disappears and everybody disappears. Um, you asked about Dimitri Payet and Slavin how difficult for it is a coach when there is speculation about your players and players becoming settled? How difficult is that to manage? I think uh, when you have uh, all the all the control in the, in your uh, office in the changing room, the things that uh, all the speculation or rumors uh, for me, uh, I I don't care. I don't care because uh, again, if uh, one rumor can break our my relationship with one player he knows that they're coming to my office we are going to fix in 30 seconds so if one player is coming to, to my office saying that they have an offer or the rumors so i can't tell them the the truth because it's the only the only way to again to be honest with them and the only way that the players can can trust you um, you talked about andy carroll earlier um, and uh, west ham have more than andy carroll but how difficult is it to deal with somebody who is so dominant we have uh, experience uh, with the problems uh, that we have uh, always with players like uh, like him. For example, last uh, game against uh, Watford with Okaka and uh, Dini or other teams with uh, players like uh, like them, we have uh, problems. But again, we have to to think about ourselves. Uh, we have to try to to play our our style. We have to try to to play. Uh, we are playing at home, so we need to to try to play our best and to try to to stop him, to try to stop the balls to to him. But uh, again, it's a uh, uh, behind him is uh, Antonio, is uh, Feguli, is uh, a lot of players. So it's not just just him. And he can't score the goal he scored last week every week. He can because he's a, an amazing uh, an amazing player. He's uh, a player who always you have to to be careful. But again, if we are uh, just uh, looking. Looking at him, Antonio can score, or Feguli can score, or uh, Lanzini can score, or uh, everyone. Thank you.